Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another Atlantic League game, a White Sox game from the Atlantic League, which is my league that I have put together of uh, franchise-type teams. Uh, they're really the 1994 season with uh, franchise players from 1911, 1970, 2020, uh, 2020, um, and in, I guess, a couple cases, maybe even 2022. But anyway, here we are. I'm going to first, let, we'll go through where the White Sox are, where the league stands right now. So we're going to go to league stats. And as you can see, uh, we are winning the uh, AL Central right now of the Atlantic League by only a half game. Um so uh, we, we have a half game lead on Minnesota and uh, two and a half on Kansas City. And Milwaukee's down at the bottom, but they're, they're only three and a half out. Same thing over in the West. California's leading by only a half a game, and Seattle and Texas are both at the bottom of that division, but only three and a half out. And then you've got the Yankees leading the Atlantic League East and um, by one game over Baltimore, two games over Detroit. Four games over Boston and six and a half games over Toronto. So Toronto is the team that's the furthest back, and they have a nine and sixteen record. Um, so, and we are fourteen and eleven coming into this one. So let's take a look at the White Sox the way they are. Um, team stats were fourteen and eleven. Now we are coming in. We have gone two and eight over our last ten. So. That's not very good. Uh, we're six and five at home, which isn't great. Eight and six on the road, which is better. And uh, so we'll take a look at the primary stats here. The batting mainly right here. Uh, we're hitting 267 as a team with 25 homers in 25 games. Um, a lot of players are doing well, uh, so I can't really say too much about that. I mean, Julio Franco is playing quite a bit. Um, and hitting 358. Um, so, you know, and then uh, you've got Frank Thomas with seven home runs and 100 at bats. Um, so, you know, the hitting, I guess, I'm not too upset about, but the pitching is bad, and particularly in the bullpen. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, you've, you've got. Dennis Cook with a 736 earned run average, Roberto Hernandez with a 794, uh, Jose De Leon with a 619. So uh, we're not doing well in the starting rotation. I have actually taken Beret out of the starting rotation and replaced him with Sanderson. So we'll see if that helps us going forward. Um, but yeah, we're going to. Uh, and I've, I'm also, for a little bit, I'm going to sit Daugherty. He's hitting 222. I brought up Engel in his place. Engel, great defensive outfielder. Not great at hitting, but um, he is a lot better defensively, and uh, maybe that'll help out a little bit. So let's go to our... Uh, Let's go to our day, our daily game here, and you can see we are at Detroit. David Wells will be pitching against Black Jack McDowell. So I'm going to say play the day. Our game is the only one left to do. Um, I am human and controlling the White Sox, as it will be. I've got McDowell on the mound. Our lineup will be Engel in left field, Darren Jackson in right, Frank Thomas at first, Belton Bill Melton at third base, Carlton Fisk at catcher, Lance Johnson in center, Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco at DH, Ozzy Guillen will be the shortstop, and Joey Cora at second base. And we don't want to create the game results file. We don't need to do that. Um, for Detroit, they're going to have David Wells. Left-hander David Wells will be on the mound for them, and Tony Phillips will be the leadoff hitter in playing left field for them. They're going to have Alan Trammell today at DH, not at shortstop. Kirk Gibson will be in center. Cecil Fielder at first. Mickey Telton, the Fruit Loop Man, at catcher. Uh, Felix will be in right field. Lou Whitaker at second. And... Um, 
Fryman, Travis Fryman, will be the third baseman with Gomez at shortstop. So, interesting choice there by the um, the Detroit Tigers. We are going to be in Tiger Stadium, beautiful Tiger Stadium. Remember Tiger Stadium? Our leadoff hitter is Engel, as mentioned before, and he's striking out. Again, he is a good defensive outfielder, not much on the hitting. Darren Jackson will be the batter, and he is, looks like he's going to hit a grounder to short. It's whether Gomez plays it or not, and he does. So there's two down quickly, and we got Frank Thomas, the big hurt, and he's going to pop out to shortstop. So we're going rather quickly here in the first inning. We will go to the bottom of the first where Detroit will bat against Black Jack McDowell. And um, McDowell, is, he delivers, and he's going to strike out Tony Phillips. Good thing there because Tony Phillips is a speedy guy, and he's a big on-base guy. Trammell is going to line out to second base and Cora. And that'll bring up Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson now fooling around Kirk Gibson, and he's going to hit a fly ball to right field that Darren Jackson will play. And Detroit goes just as quickly in the first as we did. Bringing up Belton Bill Melton against um, David Wells, and he is going to fly out to center. And, of course, this is back in 1994, so Detroit is in the Eastern Division, not in our own division. So this is not a divisional matchup, as it would be in 2024, 2023. Fisk is going to hit a single. We were hoping maybe he could stretch that one into the double, but he doesn't. And Lance Johnson is the batter, and he is going to fly out to center field. Now, you're not going to get any walks off of Wells' card um, because he didn't walk a lot of people, frankly. And Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is going to fly out to center. So we go relatively quickly there. We got uh, a single from Fisk, and we got nothing else from anybody else in the lineup. And so Cecil Fielder is the batter, and he is going to pop out to shortstop where I expect Guillen is going to make that play. And there's going to be one down for Detroit really quickly. Mickey Tettleton is up, and he is going to strike out. McDowell is sharp here. I mean, so is Wells, but uh, certainly McDowell is. And uh, Junior Felix is going to ground out to the shortstop. Guillen, who will make the play. And we have a scoreless tie going to the top of the third inning with Ozzy Gian up. And he is going to ground out to Fryman at third base. And there's going to be one down quickly here. And Joey Cora, our second baseman, is going to pop out to the first baseman fielder. So there's two down. And Adam Engel is the batter, and he is going to foul out to first base. So we went quickly there, and we're going to the bottom of the third with Lou Whitaker leading off for Detroit and hitting a double. So that is the biggest damage that's been done. Whitaker going shopping at the gap, and he is going to be find himself on second base with no outs and Fryman up. Fryman, however, is going to strike out. So there's one down with a man at second, and Chris Gomez is the batter, and he's going to walk. So you didn't really want to walk Chris Gomez. Not a good hitter, and then we're back to the top of the order, where Phillips is going to rip a single, and you got to believe that Whitaker is going to try to score on that. 75%, I'm going to stop the runner. So we've uh, got one down, runners at first and second, and Detroit has a run in. Trammell is up. And Trammell, there is a pass ball. So, but Trammell's going to strike out. So that was uh, didn't cost us anything. Nobody advances or anything. And Kirk Gibson is the batter, and he is going to strike out. So, luckily, McDowell gets us out of the inning with the strikeouts after allowing the run to come across, and we're down one nothing with Darren Jackson up. And he's going to hit a single. It was a single one to two, and it came through. Darren Jackson is aboard, which brings up the big hurt. You're going to let him hit. 
and he flies out to center field. So Gibson is going to make that play. Out in center, there is one down, and Belton Bill Melton is the batter, and he is going to fly out to center field, as, uh, as did Frank Thomas. So there's two down with Jackson aboard and Carlton Fisk, who singled his last time up, but it's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop here, and we're still losing one nothing. So we're in the top of the fourth, or um, the bottom of the fourth. We're in the bottom of the fourth, and Fielder is going to ground out to Belton. Bill Melton throws him out. Tettleton, the Fruit Loop man, is going to line out. And that line out is going to be again to Cora. And Felix is up. And Felix is going to hit a ground ball. So, you know... We've got McDowell pitching well here. He just is not getting the offensive support uh, thus far, and we're in the top of the fifth. And Lance Johnson is going to hit a ground ball out to Gomez, and he's out. And Franco is up, and Franco is going to fly out. He is flying out. So there's two down. It was a deep fly ball, and Guillen is up at the plate and going to strike out. And we're headed to the bottom of the fifth in this one nothing game. Detroit ahead by a razor-thin margin, and of course Whitaker has to come back and bite us again. He gets a single. He doubled the last time up, so he's two for two with a double and a single and a run scored. And Travis D. Fryman is the batter, and he's going to be hit by pitch. So now... McDowell seemed to be falling apart on us. Chris Gomez is the batter, and he is going to hit a single and load the bases with no out. Not a good situation. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try to throw him out. Let's try. Let's see if that works. It did not work. So they're ahead now, two nothing, and that's going to be a ground ball to Thomas, and that is one away there. And nobody scored, so Trammell is up. And Trammell is going to pop out. So, again, maybe McDowell's going to get out of this with a limited amount of damage done, and he will. He strikes out Gibson. So, now it's only 2 nothing, but we can't seem to get anything off Wells, so that might be an insurmountable amount of runs. But Cora leads off with a single. Let me see if there's something I can do here. Um, Cora, let's see. Um... With Engel up, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bunt. 72% chance for a, a successful bunt. And what happened? He made it. He did it. He did move the runner over to second. So there's one down. Darren Jackson up. And he is going to ground out to shortstop. So we've got a man at second with two away. <clears throat> And Frank Thomas. That's exactly what you want to see, but he's going to line out to first base. I'm surprised they pitched to him there, but they did. And now we are still down 2 nothing, and we're in the top of the sixth here. Cecil Fielder is up. And that's going to be a fly ball out to Johnson. You can see we got a good outfield now with Engel. We've got a left field one, a center field one, and a right field two. Uh, Mickey Tettleton is up, and he's going to pop out to first. Again, it really hasn't been... I'm not putting this one on McDowell. I mean, he's only given up two runs. <clears throat> and in the innings that he gave up the runs, he got out of uh, pretty bad situations where he could have given up more. And he strikes out Felix there. So we're in the top of the seventh. It's getting late now. Melton is up, and Melton is going to ground out to third or to shortstop to Gomez. And Carlton Fisk is up. And Carlton Fisk is going to fly out to left. We just can't get anything off of Wells. I mean, we really want to see the bullpen badly in this game. Because Wells is shutting us down. And Lance Johnson's up with two down and nobody on. And he's going to fly out. So I'm going to have to probably bring in a string of pinch hitters to try to get us going at some point here. But we're in the bottom of the seventh. And... Uh, and McDowell's not even close to tired yet. 
Um, and he's going to get Whitaker to fly out. So this is the first time we've gotten uh, Whitaker out. He flies out to Johnson, and there's one down. Travis Fryman is up, and he's going to walk. So he got on last time. I think he was hit by a pitch the last time. Chris Gomez is up, and he's going to strike out. And we're going to throw for the runner. Ooh, he made it. And that's going to be a fly ball. So he didn't strike out. Uh, they tried to steal or hit and run or something, and it's a fly ball. That ends up being a fly ball. So there is two down now with a man at second, and Phillips is the batter, and he's going to strike out. Again, McDowell doing a great job, but just not getting it. And uh, Franco is the batter, and Franco is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop and be out. Guillen is the batter, and Guillen is going to strike out. You can expect that string of pinch hitters in the ninth. Cora is the batter. He's doing, actually, Cora is doing pretty well for us, but he pops out to second base here. And um, we're going to have to check the standings, so stay tuned. After the game is over, we will look at the standings again and see what that puts us at. I am going to I'm going to leave McDowell in because if we don't get a tying run, he's only going to pitch the eighth anyway. And he's not at his inning of weakness yet or his pitch limit yet anyway. Trammell does get a single, though. And um, the Gibson strikes out. So there's one down, man at first. And now he's at his pitch limit, right at his pitch limit, and that's going to be a single double asterisk by Fielder. Oh, no, it's not a single double asterisk, just a single. But Tettleton walks, and we've got, again, loaded bases for McDowell, and I'm going to trust him to try to get out of this. Ground ball third base, but that's Melton. I don't think he, he may not make the play. And uh, that is going to be bad. Two runs come in there, and it's 4 nothing. And uh, another run comes in, and it's 5 nothing. There's two down, and fly ball to right field. I, I'm not a big fan of bringing the infield in anyway, in general. Um, but anyway, that is... That's how it goes. Uh, we're down 5 nothing here. Certainly, we're going to pinch hit for angle. So, let's get a, an on-base guy out there. Newson. We're going to... Um, do Warren Newson, and he's going to hit a fly ball to center, and that is Gibson, who is not very good defensively. Maybe he can get something out of that, but he doesn't. And so Darren Jackson is the batter, and he's going to fly out. So this just wasn't our game. I mean, Wells really just slammed the door in our faces. And Thomas is up, and Thomas is going to fly out. And that's how the game's going to end. We don't get any runs. We get shut out by David Wells. But at least I kept the bullpen fresh, although as good as it is, it really, you don't want to bring it in anyway. So we do fall to 14 and 12. The Tigers um, go up to 14 and 11 with the 5 nothing win over our team. And I'll let you take a look, quick look again at the box score. We didn't do anything. We got three hits and 29 at-bats. And so let's take a look at the league now. And we are tied now at 14-12 and 12 with Minnesota and only two games ahead of Kansas City. And that is how it stands after 26 games and going into May 2nd. We've just played the May 1st games. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.